Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is The Groom, and we're here today to do the midweek movie with The Groom, as suggested by the horror miser Monty G. It was... Deep Rising. I don't know whatever it did to you, Monty, that you would do this to me, <laughs> but I feel like you should apologize. No. All right. Directed in ni- or released in 1998, directed by Steven Sommers. This is a action, sci-fi, horror. horrible movie. Stop. Oh, horror? Horror. Uh, horrible movie. So the movie starts <sighs> out with a group of people on a boat that are rented out, I guess, by a bunch of, we find out, bad guys that are going to meet at a kind of unmarked rendezvous point for a reason they don't really disclose. And then it cuts to a very bougie cruise ship where there's a lot of gambling and debauchery going on when That's what suddenly. They it, the bougie cruise. The bougie cruise. When suddenly all hell breaks loose and there's something just tearing up things, throwing people around, very dramatic action scene. And Fomka Jansen, we find out, is a burglar of some sort who gets caught and then thrown into a fridge because they don't have a brig. So then a bunch of produce <laughs> falls on top of her. She pops some champagne, eats yeah. some sushi. She's having a good time. She's in having there. a good time. And then we find out that this is the rendezvous point, the Bouge Cruise. And uh, everyone's gone. And there's monsters. Lots of monsters. And kind of goes on from there. So no spoilers on this 20-year-old movie. What were your likes? All right. All right the one saving grace in this movie was the monster. The actual mo- monster, the thing that's like snatching people and eating them or whatever it does is it does to them. It's it actually them. pretty. It's it's actually pretty cool, and it causes some pretty cool death scenes. So, uh, especially one of the first ones you see is freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that for me, the only thing I really liked about it was the monster. The mo- the monster looked pretty cool. How about you? I liked all the over-the-top, completely ridiculous action scenes where it was just, like, maybe, like, five seconds of it would be enough, but we're going to go, like, the full (laughs) two minutes. And I was like, yes. Like, 90s action at its finest. It was just great. The effects on the first kill, I thought, were bomb. I thought that was really well done. And there went the budget. And I think that was the whole budget. Other than, like, some stuff towards the end. There's yeah. a lot of explosions, of course, because it is an action movie as well. So, I like think Jerry Bruckenheimer had something to do with this, somewhere in that. No, movie. I don't think so. He's somewhere in that movie. There's what, too many explosions. What were your novel. dislikes? This movie was so dumb. The story was so bad. There's so many plot holes in this story. So many things that don't make sense. They try to throw like some like surprise in there, and it's freaking obvious. It's just it was just they could have they could have done a lot better with this story than they did. It kind of felt like lazy writing with a lot of filler. What did you hate about it? I didn't like the pacing because I feel like there was a lot of unnecessary stuff in there that we really didn't need, and like how much. Of a storyline, do you really need for this movie? You know, like the backstory stuff. Like, come on. Like, I just want to see the monsters. I want to see them eat people. I want to see people freaking out. (laughs) That's not a lot to ask. That's actually one thing that was pretty good about this. The panic scenes were accurate. People were trampling each other to get away. Yeah. That was the most realistic, actual, like thing i saw in this in this in this movie was that's what people would really act like yeah there would be no calm collected yeah they're just like people are falling and they're just like stepping clawing on, on top other. of them stepping on their faces <laughs> like that's that's realistic unfortunately that's how it's gonna happen but yeah this movie was this movie was boring i fell asleep twice during it she kept having to wake me up it felt it felt like it took so long to get there then i was like Finally, mm-hmm. once the first once the first person gets eaten on camera, you're like, "Thank you." Yeah, I see the chick in the bathroom. That was pretty funny. I just I don't like not feeling <laughs> safe in a bathroom. Though. You know, it's like what well, was the movie where something came up through the toilet and got him? Was that Anaconda? Was it Anaconda? I don't I know. I think it was Anaconda because I remember somebody told me that they they saw saw that and they wouldn't actually use the bathroom for like 
months. That's how I felt about Jurassic Park, that bathroom scene. <laughs> what is it with bathrooms? It's your mo- you're the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable. Yes, that, yeah. that is very true. The most vulnerable What are you going to do? Get up? No, you're bathroom. not. Mid poop. Can't do anything. All right. Anyways. All right. So what did you rate this? I rated this a two out of five because I did enjoy the ridiculousness of it. I really enjoyed the creature design. I really liked all the explosions and the chase scene in the latter half was pretty cool. <laughs> the very end was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the dynamic between, uh, was it Joey and Han- Hannigan? Flanagan? Yes. Finnegan? Finnegan. Finnegan? Them, yeah. I, liked, I, I liked it between those two. This... They were funny. Skipper and the engine mechanic. Yep. The grease monkey, as they kept referring <laughs> to him. Um, I gave this a 1.5 because there's only so much a good monster and some decent action can do with a horrible story. But it was literally like the like the last 30 minutes of this movie were pretty good. That's the only reason why I didn't give it like a negative num- number because like the last 30 minutes of this movie are good it's just the first hour and change of it it's just like it seems like half of that is unnecessary i think they could have extended out the action scenes probably extended the action scenes gone the more detail with the kills and that would be a lot better than the stupid filler we got but filler's cheaper this wasn't really a mainstream movie, so they did probably have like a high budget. I don't know bu- if it budget. was or not. I've I don't never remember. Heard, I don't I've even remember it coming 98, out. Ninety-eight. I was fifteen years old in night in nineteen ninety-eight. This was the peak of me like going to the movies with my friends, and we loved seeing dumb, stupid action movies. Thanks, Josh. He drugged me to every dumb action movie Anyways. ever. But it's you know I don't remember this movie, so I think it's more like a smaller. I it's probably a small a smaller budget movie. But it did pretty know. good for if it is a smaller budget movie. But yeah, so I give it a 1.5. And may God have mercy on their souls. Alright, so, so if you want to watch this movie, you can f- you can buy it through multiple streaming uh, platforms such as Amazon Prime Vin- Video. You can get it on YouTube. You can also buy it on physical copy, Blu-ray, DVD. There's probably a VHS for it. I'm sure there's like probably a VHS. Gr- if you're like digging through some garage sales. So again, thank you so much to the horror miser Monty G for suggesting this movie. And please give him a follow on YouTube. Check out his channel. He's super awesome and I recommend him. And he's super, super, super cool. And thank you, sir. And I put on a wrestling shirt for him. Yes. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. Hit the bell for notifications of all of my further uploads and live streams. And don't forget to leave a comment. Have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts on the movie? Did you like the monsters? Let us know down below. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And you can find the groom. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Reanimator. Or you can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. Now, if you leave a comment, Leave more su- suggestions yes. on the next movie for me to watch with her. You know, maybe I'll pick yours next time. Leave me a few comments. Let me know what you want me to watch. I like bad movies. I like good movies. Try to keep it semi horror related, or mostly horror related. Or mostly horror related. <laughs> and if possible, you know, like as as many comments as you want. We'll try to bang through all the movies we can because you never know what i've already watched i'm looking yeah. for new stuff stuff that's going to shock me stuff that i've never heard of before which i've probably seen which she's probably seen it's not it's not so much if she's seen it it's more so have i not seen it so surprise me let me know what you want me to watch and uh i guess we'll see you ne- next time yeah enjoy deep rising